Station 6. Concrete Cube Test. Your concrete cubes are now 7 days old and ready for testing to determine the compressive strength of the batch. They have been removed from the curing tank and wiped dry in accordance with the standard governing this test, EN12390 Part 3. The cubes will be tested in a 3000 kN, i.e. 300 ton, capacity compression testing machine. This machine will apply force at a constant rate until the concrete cracks and failure occurs. The failure force will be recorded by the computer attached to the testing machine. Dividing the maximum force at failure by the cross-sectional area of the cube in contact with the loading platens of the machine will give the compressive stress or strength of the concrete cube. Compressive strength is measured in newtons per millimetre squared. 1 newton per millimetre squared is equal to 1 megapascal, and this is the most commonly quoted unit for compressive strength. To start the test, the cube is placed between the platens of the testing machine. It is important that the sample is orientated in such a way so as to avoid testing on the hand-finished face. The hand-finished side is rougher and less even than those sides that were in contact with the mould. Testing on this face could lead to premature failure due to localised fracturing of raised concrete along the uneven surface. Within the software on the testing rig computer, the sample ID and dimensions are entered. The desired testing rate in megapascals per second is also entered. In this case, a rate of 0.4 megapascals per second will be used, as per the standard. The testing machine is then started, again via the software. The bottom platen of the machine moves up under hydraulic power until a specimen is in contact with the top platen. The desired test rate is then applied to the sample. Throughout the test, the current force being applied to the specimen is displayed in the bottom left hand corner of the monitor. A plot of force versus test time is also displayed and updated in real time. The test machine continues to apply force to the specimen at the set loading rate. This will continue until the specimen fails. As concrete is a brittle material, it breaks suddenly without much visible warning. Only small cracks on the surface indicate impending failure. The test machine stops upon a 5% drop off in applied force. This indicates that failure has occurred. The maximum force applied at failure is recorded on the computer. Use this value in conjunction with the cross-sectional area of your sample to determine the compressive strength of your concrete cube. The sample should crack and fail uniformly across the four surfaces that are not in contact with the testing platens. Any deviation from this is deemed an unacceptable result according to EN12390 Part 3. The standard provides guidance and graphical illustrations on how cubes should fail during a compression test. Satisfactory and unsatisfactory failure patterns are shown here in figures 1 and 2 respectively. If a satisfactory failure pattern is not achieved, the test should be repeated on another sample. The technical staff will record the compressive strength of each group's concrete cube and upload it to the Civil Engineering Laboratory mini-site. The QR code shown on screen will direct you there, where you can compare your result to that of your classmates. May the best cube win.